Welcome class to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe Rule number 12, which states, Avoid unnecessary comments. A comment is a human readable explanation written in the source code of an application that is ignored by the compiler. Each language will have a way for developers to leave comments. The three common ways to show comments are, a single line comment is the only thing visible on the line, an inline comment appears at the end of the line after the command, and some languages allow a multi-line block for larger comments. Before you add comments to the code, ask yourself this question, is this comment necessary? Consider this comment above the variable name. With a more descriptive name, the comment would not be needed. And the comment above this method. Could the name be a little more descriptive instead? What about these inline comments that show the end of the code block? They help with readability, but are they necessary? You probably notice this method has too many lines of code and is doing more than one thing. These inline comments typically indicate a better code design is needed. Sometimes you may find a banner or section header comment. This appears to help identify sections of code, but in the end, it just adds noise. If too many unnecessary comments clutter up the code, the truly important ones might be ignored. A warning comment can be helpful in some situations. Maybe the process takes a long time to run. Maybe an obvious code refactor doesn't work because of a unique situation. Other warnings may not be helpful, like comments about code quality or a prior developer. Be respectful with the comments. There are times when comments are needed for legal reasons. Add them to the file according to company policy. Most languages will provide documentation comments that are utilized by other developers or as part of the software released to their customers. If it is required, do it. If not, challenge the need and time commitment to keep it up to date. Most IDEs provide this basic information automatically. Some companies or teams will require a journal comment at the beginning of the file that records the date, author, and purpose of the change made. These comments are unnecessary because the source code version control system handles this very well. Comments that provide thoughts or a history lesson about a process are better served in another documentation file. Often, most comments written today will become stale and unreliable over time. Pseudocode comments are allowed and encouraged when designing new code. Before deploying the application, they should be removed. To-do comments are also allowed when designing new code. Avoid leaving these comments in the code when deploying. It's a form of technical debt. Code to be replaced can be commented out while working on new changes. It should be removed when completed. Don't leave the commented out code behind just in case it needs to be used again. The source control has a historical copy if needed in the future. Example code from another source can be pasted in and commented out as a reference or starting point for new changes. It should be removed when completed. Unused or depreciated code can be commented out to prove the functionality and unit tests still pass. Again, remove the code when completed. Old commented code is allowed in rare situations. For example, the commented code could alter the end result by generating an output file during manual testing. This would allow the developers to see more detailed information about the process. It would be time consuming to copy this code from another support file or rewrite the code every time it's needed. Keeping it as commented code would be helpful and convenient. Normally, there is a warning or informative message that goes with this type of code. When a comment is needed, don't explain useless information, actions to take in the code, or a vague result produced. Instead, explain the purpose or intent of the process. This comment identifies the process, key data sources needed, along with the expected final result. If the process changes over time, 
this comment will still have value because the intent is documented, not how it's done. Sometimes there is a value that makes no sense without an explanation. Often, a descriptive comment will provide important information needed to decipher the value. I challenge you to put few if any comments in the code. When a comment is needed, make sure it explains the intent. How often do you leave comments inside the code? Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!